Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline and in this video I will show you how you can use Memcache with your Django projects. So first let's uh, look at the documentation and if you go to the Django uh, official documentation page where Django Cache framework is uh, available you can see uh, the first option you see here is Memcached and as they mentioned this is the fastest and most efficient type of cache support natively by Django so it's good to use this to speed up your Django websites and so uh, if, if you see the example here uh, how you can how you can use this let's see, open this so uh, it's pretty straightforward what you can do is you can just copy this uh, code and paste in your settings.py but uh, we i would like to show you how it works so first uh, we will go to the session page just for example uh, like uh, we'll use the django default sessions and in session we will use cache so basically we are gonna configure the mam cache but we will see uh, the session data should be cache in our mam cache okay yeah so uh, how we can use the cache session if we go again uh, in the documentation uh, here you need to set the session engine to django contrib sessions dot backend cache and just copy this okay yeah. and here i created a simple django project nothing fancy here i'm going all the way to down and let's type sessions engine equals to the stuff we just copied so here you can see the session engine to this and we put it here so now let's see to uh, how our website works so let's just log in to the Django website Django admin panel and here we are able to log in everything works fine no change how we know this backend cache system is working so now let's jump to our django cache framework uh, documentation where you see in the section of memcached and just copy this example code which works straightforward here you need to provide the uh, the, the details of your cache uh, so what is the backend so backend should be the core cache uh, backend memcached and the location is your yeah, yeah, local IP address uh, and uh, 11211 is the default port for memcached so let me just copy this and paste this here okay remember at this time we are just doing django settings so we are not doing any configuration or installation of the mem cache in your system so first i would like to show you if you use this where your website gets stuck so now we added a session engine where we provide backend to cache and we we, uh, we use cache settings to mem cache and we provide a local location uh, to our local host and the port is the default port for memcache now let's go back to our website and if i if i click anywhere let's say groups it will automatically log out because session is now cached so it will look for a key session key from the cache so if i try to log in now it will look for the key but the key is not found so as you see this runtime error unable to create new session key so and is the cache is 
unavailable so that means from django side things are working and now we need to figure it out how we can add memcache in our server so how you can get the memcache for windows uh, there is two uh, one way is you can just uh, download this pre-built memcache uh, uh, software there which is uh, built for windows 64 bit and the link you can find in the description also so to start with you need to install uh, packages uh, pip install python memcache for python 2 and pip install python 3 memcache for python 3 okay so whatever version you are using just install this library and download this so once you download this zip file copy into any location in your server so in my case i uh, copied in my c drive so here is my memcache zip i unzip here and if i go here is a memcache.exe and it's a very small file it's just 544kb and it's come with a dll file so you just copy in one single folder and then you can uh, run this into a command prompt just type memcache and first let's look at the help so you can just use this for help and it will show you all command line option for this which is available so as you can see here like p is for port u s d uh, we'll use m uh, m is for like how much memory you want to dedicate for your memcache default is 64 mb uh, which is pretty low so you can use like uh, 1024 or it's depend on the how much server in your ram so give a decent amount of ram here if you provide this this argument and uh, other thing is uh, we want to see how things are working so we'll go with the verbose level and verbose we want to see in extreme verbose level so, okay so with these two arguments we'll see uh, the progress of our cache so let's say uh, ma'am cache mam cache m let's say i will give you 512 and uh, verbos extreme and hit enter and here we see like okay things are getting started server is listening okay so now let's just put this at one side go back to our django website okay now let's try this again admin okay let me open this uh, -da -da. so now when I'm trying to log in it's actually going to the man cache and looking for these session keys you can see these keys as Django contrib session keys and whenever I click inside this website it's going for going to the cache memcache and showing me the result but still right now my memcache server is running so that's why our website is getting information from this but if you close this again your website will uh, all the session will log out and when you try to log in it will show the same runtime error runtime error unable to create session key so better put this in your uh, startup script so it will automatically start and you can see how memcache is working in windows okay once again yes so with that you can take advantage of memcache and speed up of your Django websites. Alright guys.
see you in next video bye